and everybody about to zone out from the uh, food, I'm going to wake you up here with a little bit of uh, fun about databases. I mean, what could be more fun than scaling databases, right? Right? All right. Um, first, before we get started, a few announcements to make. Um, uh, we have two things that are lost and found department. One is a business card holder. Um, so if you lost a business, it's got uh, a whole bunch of different business cards in it, so we don't know whose it is. Really nice, though. So if you can convince Heidi that you have one, you might get a really nice leather, soft leather. So highest bidder, is that what you said? <laughs> highest bidder, the highest bidder. Um, the other announcement is that we have a Fitbit. Somebody lost a Fitbit. And uh, I will not say what color it is so that at least we have some chance of giving it back to the right person. So if you lost either of those two things, uh, let us know. Um, just a reminder on how we work this, uh, we'll have each of five presenters have six minutes to um, tell us about their entire lives and then eight minutes for the judges to tell them how horrible their lives are. No, that's not, so, no, that's not how it works? Okay. Well, something like that anyway. Um, the category that we're talking about here is database scalability. Um, data is uh, probably at the heart of almost every discussion. I, I think that uh, about 75% of the pitches that I get in my role as editorial director of Information Week uh, have something to do with big data, managing data, um, and uh, that's on every single platform and device that that's known to man. But I thought that we had answered it, this question, and so maybe we can even dispense with the next hour and a half. You just run it all in memory, right? <laughs> no? Oh. You like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, I want to ask the judges, and we'll get them to, uh, uh, first we'll get them to introduce themselves, but I want to ask you guys a couple of questions about this category before we get started. But Shane, why don't you say who you're with and We'll sure. go on down the road. Uh, my name is Shane Guthrie. I'm with Alcatel Lucent. Um, I'm part of the Emerging Technologies Group and uh, responsible for interfacing into various startups and helping them to move along through our NG Connect program and into hopefully uh, some type of production uh, at some point. Okay, great. Chris? Sure, I'm Chris Sheppy, uh, Managing Director and Co-Founder of Lightspeed Venture Partners, focusing on early and expansion stage investments in uh, IT and internet. Great. Uma? I'm Uma Mayapan from Wells Fargo. I'm from the wholesale side of the bank. We are an innovations and R&D group where we try to, you know, emerging business strategies and solutions and we try to help our customers bring in new technologies and enable them with the new products that we built. And part of that, um, we deal with a lot of data, being a bank, of course, we deal with a lot of data, and uh, with the data, security is the prime factor. We don't want to compromise it for any case. And um, having said that, we are always on-premises. Cloud is not a good word to talk to us. You might have heard that quite a lot today. Um, and also, we do a lot of mobile initiatives, and um, definitely if there is, you know, we are also looking for anyone with authentication solutions. I haven't found anyone today, but if there is anyone out here, definitely come talk to us. We do a lot of um, POCs and other things to find the new technologies into the bank. So you can talk to me, or if we have, um, I have my colleagues in here, so find any one of us and talk to us. But if you're cloud, please do not come near us. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are, are you going to serve as the um, uh, as the J Lo of the American Idol <laughs> judging panel? Because Shane Why is was that? saying that's what he wanted. I, I wore my <laughs> special clothes for that today. So. <laughs> um, so, a couple questions for you guys, just to get us warmed up. Really, I'm just trying to make them sweat a little bit more because, like, Bradford's like ready to jump on stage right now. <laughs> so, if I could just tweak him a little bit, but. Um, what buzzwords in this particular category would you say that we should ban from the room? I've already told my buzzword. <laughs> Which is? <clears throat> Cloud. Cloud. You, so I'm saying to ban, like they can't use it. Like nobody can say the word Hadoop uh, or something yes. like that. I'm, I'm just suggesting. 
uh, data federations. <laughs> data federation, okay, no data federation. Anybody else wanna? I think it would be too hard if I said scalability. Everyone is gonna say that, but. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's part know. of the definition of this. I think that's. Tough. I don't wanna so, hear the word shard. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no sharding, sharding and, and I go, you know, I, I, relational, just don't say the word relational. Relational, okay. So you got that, right? Oh, we got it. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, and, and then just one other thing is, is, and you did this a little bit, Uma, but what, what are you guys looking for in this particular category? You know, one of the things um, in, in terms of what's changed in databases is that the need for scalability, and I can say that, um, <laughs> has, has grown dramatically with, um, you know, consumer web applications. But in addition to that, um, you know, the variability of data requirements has grown and the need for change. The uh, applications are put out there, they're changed frequently, uh, time to market is shorter, reacting to market needs is quicker. And, you know, so in the 80s or 70s when SQL databases and structures were put in place, I think everything changed less frequently. And so, um, you know, one of the things I'm looking for is just how do these new solutions accommodate the ability to change, but yet at the same time provide for high performance? Um, I think one of the things that we've been very interested in uh, is data distribution, uh, especially throughout uh, different regions and, um, you know, obviously with Alcatel having strong network uh, interest as well, distribution throughout the network. Um, one of the problems that we wind up having is a lot of uh, authoritative sources of data um, that are distributed in areas where performance uh, make them infeasible for us to access and, and gain uh, answers from. And, um, you know, the database community as a whole, uh, before we started getting into a lot of the multidimensional databases, uh, really created sort of a problem with replication and, uh, you know, real-time replication and, um, you know, distance parameters because of the speed of light and other issues. So I think that what we'd like to see is somebody who thinks on a, uh, at least on a national if not a global scale, about how data should be distributed uh, and served. And, um, you know, if there are new and interesting thoughts in that space, that, that's definitely something that always tickles our fancy. Okay. Uma? Um, not particularly in this category. If, you know, in, in general, definitely big data, getting the right data at the right time, there's, you know, that seems like a common statement, but definitely there's a lot more improvement that could be done on this. And But in this particular category, I, I kind of looked at all the different companies. They all seem to have, you know, I don't know how they are all grouped under data scalability. They all have different things which are really good, compliment you guys, each one. But, but they are, you know, each one is particularly different, so it's going to be interesting to see them. Okay. All right. And we're going to have... Um um, a mic runner here. I, I encourage you guys wave your hand during the eight-minute period, and, and we'll uh, we'll try to include your questions in there as well. But we want to cap capture them with a mic. So um, uh, I encourage.